I mean, this guy is the nicest guy on the freaking planet, okay? So definitely no toxicity towards him at all. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do it, boys. I, I think I am, am because like, I don't think I can do too much anymore. <laughs> Yo, what is up, guys? It's your Bobo Tricks here. Back with yet another banger. Once again, we got some BFB Coliseum boost only, so let's hop right in today's video. If you guys are in fact new to the channel, don't forget to click that subscribe button. And also while you're at it, drop a like. On today's video, it's gonna be a banger because it always is. A Lucian, oh my gosh, there's no way. Is this the real Lucian? To be honest, I don't know what his profile looks like, but this might just be the real Lucian, okay? So, I mean, this guy is the nicest guy on the freaking planet, okay? So, definitely no toxicity towards him at all. And if it is the real Lucian, we have definitely got to go with a non tryhard strategy, okay? Interchange, though, is kind of hard to use meme strategies on, so I'm gonna probably end up skipping it. Swamp is gonna end up being the map, okay? So Boomer Spy Factory Farm is personally my go-to on this map. It actually works out so well. Energy Spike Factory Farm would also work out, um, but I kinda just feel like using the Boomer, all right? So without further ado, let's just hop right into this one, boys. As always, we're gonna be starting off with our farm immediately. I mean, it's kinda iffy with this strategy, though. You could start off with the Boomer because the Boomer is not the greatest starting tower by any means, so if you wanted to play it safe, Definitely starting off with that would not be a bad call. Anyways, though, we're gonna start off with three sets of reds, or two sets of reds, sorry, and three sets of space blues behind all of that, okay, just to get up our eco. He did not send me a single balloon, so I did decide to go for the more bananas upgrade on our farm. He's gonna end up leaking a few lives uh, to what I sent him, but ultimately, yeah, he's obviously gonna be fine. But we'll take the leaks, boys. We will 100% take those. I'm gonna end up going, obviously, for this Bionic Boomer. It sucks, because it's so expensive, and it puts you behind in the farm, so, if that bothers you, then just don't go with the strategy, but I don't care. I freaking adore this strategy. Let's just go for this now. I'm going to end up sending the young man some space pinks here. Um, and I actually don't have any money to do so. Oh my goodness. Okay, he's going to end up using a set of attacks. I'm also going to put this bad boy on close. And hopefully after that, we're going to be fine because, wow, those space pinks were actually pretty effective towards us. Okay, but he ended up going for that plantation green then a little bit. But dude, his tax shooter low key is kind of going in against these space pinks. So my goodness. So though, we got him to leak down to 99 lives. So we will take that. We're going to end up going for our first plantation finally. And uh, he's probably going to end up sending me some space blocks on round six. I would not be surprised at all. That's why I do have my boomer set too close. I couldn't believe that I leaked that many lives to those space pinks. He only sent a few sets, you know? So that was kind of crazy. I think his tax shooter is like honestly in such a great position. So I honestly don't think space blacks will do anything towards him. Um, so I'm just not going to send those. I'm just going to mind my own business and uh, continue on farming. But round eight is here. He could, in fact, I was about to say, send us some whites. At least they're not space regen. I'm going to end up upgrading finally to the two, three. And hopefully with our boomer being on close, we'll be fine. Oh, no. He's going to end up sending the space regen whites. Okay, so I'm going to go for the one, one spike factory to help us out just a tad bit in the back of the map. Okay, and it definitely should be enough. He ended up actually stopping with those. So it's going to put us behind in the farms a little bit. I won't lie, but eventually we will catch back up boys okay trust the process we're gonna end up sending him a lead because he has no lead detection currently maybe he's going with the mortar or the wizard i'm not entirely sure um but yeah actually he's going with the wizard okay so well done young men and we're gonna send him a little bit of a regen round 11 rush okay hopefully to force um that lightning upgrade on his side that's literally all i'm trying to do here and it looks like we actually did not get it, unfortunately. I'll send that camo regen zebra then, and that will force the upgrade, okay? He ends up going for the dragon breath, okay? That's exactly what we wanted, boys. And I ended up going for the 2-1 in the back of the map in case he wants to send me any camo leads, okay? And he is actually right now, obviously, with the spike battery, we're gonna be A-OK. -okay. And he just, oh my gosh, he is really freaking farming hard right now, okay? I have no money to send this man a rush either, so this really, really does suck. <laughs> and if we send him like such a big rush obviously all he's gonna do is just um maelstrom it so he's probably gonna end up going for the bia here which yeah that that really does suck uh but maybe we can be aggressive towards him if he does happen to do so here on round 15 because i don't think he actually has a lightning upgrade on that dragon breath that he has oh yeah he's gonna end up doing it boys wow 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 so i'm gonna end up sending him a little bit of a rush here and he's probably gonna just gonna end up Oh, yeah, he ends up boosting. Okay, so we'll take that. But wow, does that suck. Oh, my gosh. That actually looked pretty bad for him for a second. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I don't think we can do anything, though. We can't, really. We got a boost out of him, though. Okay, so he's got to be good with the BIA, unfortunately. 
but maybe during these next upcoming rounds we can do something okay because his defenses still aren't very good i'm probably gonna end up sending him a mob immediately with some leads underneath and hopefully that will be an issue for him once again okay hopefully we can get that second boost out of the way and i highly doubt he's gonna be aggressive towards me because he just like doesn't have the funds to do so but you never know he could send me a mob here so rather be safe than sorry for sure i ended up going oh, oh he's gonna try to maelstrom that okay so uh, that's not gonna work he's gonna have to maelstrom that twice and that's still not gonna work in my opinion he's gonna have to maelstrom that once again oh my gosh aluki and no he ends up being good okay well done oh my gosh i'm sending a freaking ceramic in there dude Jesus, bad. Jesus. He's probably just going to end up Maelstrom in that. He ends up selling that farm to Maelstrom. My goodness, the Maelstrom is so OP on this map. But wow, what an intense game it's been thus far, boys. Okay, I'm going to drive this on a little bit later, all right? It sucks because, like, Wiz Tack is a very, very viable strategy. And, like, obviously, mine's just not. Um, so that puts us at a huge disadvantage. I just figured he would have went with something a little bit different but that's all good okay i'm not i'm not complaining or anything i'm gonna go for a spike ball in the back of the map by the way because like look at this ai boys i i think he's sending us some things or just my boomer just sucks so i end up <laughs> using a turbo charge there and i think i'm gonna end up going for that my goodness i'm probably not i'm gonna have to sell this right i mean dude i need some extra popping power for sure so that is such a greedy move i won't even lie to y'all but we're gonna see how it does for us, okay? I don't think he's sending us anything. It's just the AI is super intense for us, but hopefully my spike ball will in fact come in clutch and I might end up having to use another turbo charge. I'm not entirely sure. Actually, for sure I will, right? Dude, it just looks so bad. It does. Okay, I'm gonna need a turbo charge anyway for the next round. He got up another Maelstrom just to play it safe. My goodness, man. I ended up turbo charging this AI. And hopefully we're going to end up being good against that, all right? Because these ceramics are absolutely no joke. And he ended up going for a facility as well. Okay, so well done, man. He's really freaking preparing here, boys. He really is. So I'm going to go for probably then another spike ball. Hopefully that will be enough. It does not look like it's enough. I'm going to probably have to boost this. Unfortunately, I did not have to boost that. Dang it. If we somehow win this game, dude, I'm going to be shocked. I'm going to be freaking shocked okay i won't even lie to y'all we are just at such a huge disadvantage boys really we are like this is not looking good for us at all because we're gonna have to constantly turbocharge and stuff like that like if we had the balloon trap that would be much better i should have went ng spike factory farm i definitely should have and look at how many tax shooters and whatnot he has man like he he's prepared boys he is freaking prepared so i might just end up all outing him eventually because like I don't, I don't know what else I can do here, you know? Yeah, I think I'm going to do it, boys. I, I think I am, because, like, I don't think I can do too much anymore. <laughs> we'll see if he can defend. I'm pretty confident that he's got this in the bag. Uh, but you never know, boys, okay? That's all we're going to say. I'm going to have to have a little bit of extra money in case we need to turbocharge, which we're going to have to right here, actually. So we're going to end up turbocharging this. And we actually, yeah, I'm going to boost that as well, because look at all the ceramics in the AI, man. Oh, my gosh. Did we end up dying to that? No, we're good, okay. We are good. Yeah, he's going to end up being fine against that. It's just too easy of a defend, you know? There's there's not that many BFBs and whatnot. And yeah, all he has to worry about... Oh, no way. No freaking way. No way. No way. No, 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 no. We did not see him dying right there. This game is so freaking weird. Wow. GG's. I'll catch you on the next one. A Kane Tendo is our next opponent. Yeah, this guy's the real deal, boys, okay? 230th on the global leaderboards, 93rd on the prestige. No joke. And it looks like he knows us too, so what's up, dude? Hot Sub is gonna end up being the map, so you guys already know, we have got to go with NG Spike Factory Farm, all right? So without further ado, let's just hop right into this one, boys. Good and positive vibes, and we shall indeed win. I feel way more confident with the Spike Factory strategy. Okay, it's honestly 100 times better than Boomer Spike Factory Farm. I would still love that strategy, it's just, the, the balloon trap on the NG, it, it's so broken. It's so nice to have too, because whenever you're going with the spike battery, you're normally gonna get out farmed. So having that extra money coming from the balloon trap is so, so helpful. And anyways, right at the start of round two, I wanna send him some eco. Okay, so that's exactly what we did. Three sets of reds, two sets of space blues. He is spelling out high with his farmers, I believe. So what's up, do it again. And he's just gonna end up tanking those lives. Oh, what? <laughs> Oh my god, you guys all just saw literally all of those balloons just instantly freaking disappeared right as he set down the map. That is insane. That is nuts, okay? So, 
<laughs> he's gonna end up sending us some reds here. Obviously, yes, I do need to upgrade to at least a sentry gun. He is not stopping either, so I'm gonna end up going for a zero zero just to help us out a little bit more. And yeah, he's probably gonna be pretty consistent with some blues here at the start of round four. Would not doubt it. I might have to go for a nine inch nails depending on how many he actually sends us, all right? And yeah, he's not stopping. So I'm gonna go for a nine inch nails here. He's gonna end up balloon boosting these pinks. It's unfortunate. Um, but I think ultimately we're going to be pretty A-OK -okay against these, all right? We already got the defenses that we need in order to defend. And we already got the plantation going as well. Okay, so yeah, I'm going to probably... Mm, no, we're going to keep this engineer that we also have on the map, okay? Because that's going to make sure that we're good for round six screens in case he wants to send us those, all right? So I'm also going to go for another farm myself. We could be aggressive too on round six if we really wanted to, but like, honestly, boys... Normally when I go with the engineer, I'm just like not aggressive during the early game round So we're just gonna stick with being like that because you definitely have to get a decent amount of farms In order to get up that balloon trap on round 10 and normally my goal is two plantations before the start of round 8 So that's exactly what we're gonna get. We actually got it right now Um, so yeah, if we can though, we're gonna go for another 1-0 farm Normally I can't though because my opponent's normally aggressive towards me on round 7 Uh, but yeah, we're gonna send him some space blocks on this round. Okay, he's gonna have to upgrade to another dart lane, some along the lines of that, okay, for sure. And we're gonna get some lease off of him, okay, for sure. Yeah, he ended up going for another dart lane, exactly what we wanted. Oh my gosh, he's leaking so many lives right now, boys. So he's not gonna be liking the fact that I just went for another farm. So we're probably gonna have to end up boosting to a round eight yellow rush if he ends up sending us one. And yeah, you can already tell he's starting to send us one. So yeah, I'm gonna get up another nine inch nails though. And then maybe another maybe we can just defend oh no we can't <laughs> so obviously yeah we're gonna end up boosting to that ended up leaking a few lives it sucks all right but i'd rather be alive than dead okay 100 um and we're gonna have to send him a lead obviously right at the start of round 10 he ended up going for another farm too somehow we're ahead in the farms and we're about to go for our balloon trap as well which is kind of nuts boys kind of nuts indeed oh okay wait 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 come on money 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 Ooh, he boosted those at me too, so that was so scary. That was so scary. He already has lead detection too, so we didn't even need to send him leads, okay? Wow, was that scary. I don't know why he balloon boosted those. Like, that scared me. I thought for sure he was going to be sending pinks over top, but he ended up not doing that. Okay, so I'm going to go for a 0 spike factory in the back of the map in case the young man wants to send us a rush. He's going darling glue though. Props. Freaking respect, bro. I'm going to send him a camel lead though. That's going to be forcing an upgrade on his side. Both going with the meme strategies, though. You gotta love it, okay? Um, but I'm gonna end up going for another 1-0 farm because he's upgrading his defenses, which tells me he's not gonna be aggressive towards us, all right? So I'm gonna go for another plantation on top of this. But we gotta be ready for round 16, okay? You never know what could happen on round 16, ladies and gentlemen. But dude, like, him having the glue hose, like, honestly, the glue hose is such a freaking good upgrade for the glue. He ended up going for a BIA? This guy's nuts, boys, and he's sending me reds. Why? He doesn't have enough money in order to freaking go for the BIA just yet. That is crazy. Okay, so what are we doing in this situation? We're not going for a BIA, okay? I'll tell you all that right freaking now. But we probably will have to send him a rush here on round 16, all right? He already knows it's going to be pretty freaking hard to defend. He's probably going to ultimately just end up um, using the boost, okay? But we're going to see what happens here, all right? I sent him a camo ceramic in there. I'm going to send quite a bit of pinks as well. Uh, but he ultimately ended up being good. I can't tell what's happening. That's just a lot of regrow on his side, but I think he's good. I don't know, dude. The Dartling's weird sometimes. And he says, see ya. That's just rude. But hey, at least he never went for that BIA, I guess. Maybe he didn't want to go for it. <laughs> Which is kind of... Oh, he just now went for it. Well done, my friend. Okay, so maybe he might be aggressive towards me with the Moab. I'm honestly not sure. So I'm just going for the spike ball just to be safe. And actually, too, we don't have any set attack, so I'm going to go for 0-0 zero, zero as well here. Just to really be safe in case he wants to send me a Moab. I'm probably going to end up sending him a Moab, too, on... Actually, dude, he's going to be fine against a Moab, right? 100%, right? I don't know, boys. We might still just do it. Yeah, we're going to do it, okay? We're going to do it. We're going to see how he ends up defending against this. Because I'm actually quite interested to see. And we're going to send leads behind it, obviously, as well. We were kind of a little bit late to it. But obviously, he has a stalling um, on that as well. So, dude, he, he should be fine against that 100%. And, yeah, he's going to end up being all good against that. Oh, no. Wait, he ends up tower boosting. Ooh, and ends up dying to the mob. Holy freaking crap, dude. 
drops still regardless because you went with the meme strategy. I have the utmost respect for this guy. GG's brother, all right? But that is actually going to be wrapping up today's video. Okay, so I hope you guys did in fact enjoy it. Make sure to drop a like on the video if you did. And also while you're at it, make sure to click that subscribe button. All right, so the last question I asked y'all in the last video was, what is my favorite color, okay? Pretty odd question because normally I ask questions that relate to the video, but whatever, all right? And the answer is blue, all right? So this guy won. Congratulations, man. I just love blue. That's pretty much it, all right? So once again, congrats on the shout out. And the next question I'm going to be asking you guys is, was that the real Alukian that we went against in the first game, all right? I honestly still don't know the answer to this question, but after... I do edit and whatnot and look into it. I will know. Okay, so make sure you leave your answers down below in the comment section and you may have the chance to win a shout out in the next video, which is obviously dope. I hope you boys did enjoy it. Once again, it's been your mobile tricks for Justin. Peace out, everybody.